Hi everyone. So today we're going to take a look at getting your site into the Google Search Console. The Search Console will give you a ton of information about how Google sees your site and how Google users interact with your site. It's very useful information. Now the first thing we'll need to do is verify that you are the site owner. And that's what we're going to focus on with today's video. So let's dig in. The link for getting to your search console is down in the description. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do when you get here is prove or verify that you own the domain or the URL, the website, that you're setting up. There are two different methods you can use to verify your ownership. The domain method or the URL prefix. The domain method is more inclusive and it's going to cover the HTTP and HTTPS version and any subdomains, anything along those lines that is part of that domain. With the URL prefix, it's going to be a little more limited in that um, it only covers the version of your domain name or the URL that starts with what you verify. Let's start with the URL method here because it's a little easier to explain. First of all, you're just going to put in your URL. Um, this is just a sample site that I use for, for different things. Then you click continue. It's going to check to see if you've already uploaded the information you need to to verify it. And of course we haven't yet. You'll have this file that you can click on and it will download to your computer. Then you will need to FTP it up to your site. So once that file is on your site, then Google will know that you have control of the site and therefore are the owner or will consider you the owner. So once you have that uploaded, you can click on that verify button there and they will check your website, find that that file is there and they will know that you have control or ownership of that website. Um, if you're not sure how to FTP or upload this file to your server, contact your hosting company because it does vary by host somewhat. Um, but they should be able to tell you if you just tell them what you're doing. Um, they'll be familiar with this and be able to help you upload that or check their support pages and there may be some information there. Now there are other methods that you can use to verify it, including adding a meta tag to your site's home page through Google Analytics and the Tag Manager, or what we're going to do next is doing it through the DNS. Now using the domain method is going to be a lot more inclusive and in include all parts of your site. When you enter the name here, you're not even going to include the HTTP or S or any of that, just the domain name by itself. Then you click that continue button and it's going to check to see if we've already set it up, but we haven't yet. So they'll give us the instructions. Now do remember that you will need access to your DNS management system uh, to use this method. Now we're going to go up here and copy this snippet of text here. Google does have some instructions up here for specific DNS providers or managers. Um, for some reason, they don't have Cloudflare on the list. That's one of the most popular ones around, but I'm going to go through that with you. So we're going to close this out and go over to Cloudflare. Okay, I'll log into Cloudflare here. Um, I have to blur some things out for security, of course. So with Cloudflare here, once you get logged in, you'll select the site that you want to manage. and then go to the DNS section. Go to Add Record, and what we're going to be doing is setting up a text record. For Cloudflare, we use the at symbol for the root domain. And then we're going to take that text snippet and paste it in right here. Then we will save this. 
Now in most places you'll see it will say it could take 24 to 48 hours for this text record to update. Um, when I update it through Cloudflare, it's just a matter of waiting two or three minutes and then it's ready to go. But you may find it longer depending on your management system. Then we'll just head back over to the Search Console and verify. And that's it. Your site is now verified in the Search Console. Now the Search Console has a wealth of information. I'll let you go through and explore all those links. We're not going to cover all of this information here in this video. Our point was just to get verified. If you've been following um, my instructions on how to get your site into Google News, you can now go to your Publisher Center and you will be able to verify your site since it's verified here. If you are a news publisher, come join me over at Accountable.Press, where we're building an association of responsible publishers. We're promoting responsible journalism through accountability. I would love to count you in as a member. Come join. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I've got a lot more video coming out on News SEO, Google News, News Journalism, so subscribe. I'd appreciate your support. That's it for this video. Thanks again and see you later.